Let me show you three different ways to create a drop shadow using LumaFusion. The first involves duplicating the video clip. So highlight your clip, tap on the duplicate button, and what we want to do with this is reduce its size. So we into frame and fit, down to size, and just bring it in a bit. Then from there, we want to make another duplicate. We tap on duplicate again, and this time, we're going to go to the middle duplicate, tap on our pencil icon. This allows us to then bring out a potential drop shadow from underneath. We move over to our color and effects. You want to tap on original and then from there reduce the brightness. Now you would think you would increase the contrast but counterintuitively you're actually going to decrease contrast, decrease saturation and then go down to the gamma if you go to the left you're actually going to make it white if you go to the right everything becomes black and with this particular drop shadow i want it to be a deliberately sharp edge so i'm not going to add any blurring but if you wanted to add blurring you could do so using the blurring panel and if we play this through here's your drop shadow from duplicate video clip. Now the only thing you need to do to sort of maybe finish things off is go into frame and fit and go down to your blending and you can lower the opacity if you wish. Just to take the edge off the harsh blackness and you will then see the video clip below playing through. The second way to generate a drop shadow in LumaFusion is to go to your plus symbol and go to Overlay Title. You then want to stretch the Overlay Title out to match the 8 seconds of the clip above and then from there press on the pencil icon and what you want to do then is go to your text panel. Open up your text here, we don't need that, so trash can and then tap on the plus tap on shape. If it doesn't automatically give you a rectangle then just choose rectangle from the menu below. Once you've got a basic shape on the go you just want to stretch out the bounding box until it roughly fits the shape of your video clip then just move it off to the side a little bit just get it all sort of balanced up and then from there you want to change the face color to black and that's you pretty much done as much as you need to do here you can then go into frame and fit and move things around a little bit more if you want to and also you've got the option now of going into color and effects and choosing one of the blur settings to actually blur the edge. There's a nice soft edge there, but you can make it a little bit firmer. So set it in so between 60 and 70, does the trick. And then back to your frame and fit. Now you can either change the blending to multiply so that it starts to interact with the video layer below or you can just drop the opacity which I tend to do as well just come back out of the clip play it through and there's your second way to generate a drop shadow in LumaFusion the third way to create a drop shadow using LumaFusion is probably the most useful. I tend to get loads of different graphics sent to me by clients and they provide them as transparent PNGs as you can see here for the runway logo. So how do we make a drop shadow for runway when it's already white? Well the first thing we have to do is duplicate the layer. We're then going to work with the layer below. Going to go into frame and fit 
I just change the position slightly. So I'll set it off or offset it, I should say, to about there. Go over to our color and settings and then move over to the effects panel. And then we're gonna have a little scan through until we find invert. Once you get invert, tap on that and boom, you've got yourself a black graphic rather than anything else. What we've got to do after that is if we want to make it a little bit softer, go into our blurs and we'll give it Gaussian blur around about 10. Then back to frame and fit for blending. You can change the blending mode to multiply if you wish as in the previous way of doing things and you can also play around with the opacity we'll set it around about 53% this time and then if we just play this through we've got ourselves a nice drop shadow with a feathered edge good to go all thanks to the invert within color and settings and if you don't want a Gaussian effect, just switch off the visibility and you've got that nice hard edge, which sometimes is more appropriate. Back to frame and fit. And then we can just play with the positioning. And we'll set it directly below this time. So there we go, three different ways of creating a drop shadow in LumaFusion.